Don't know about you, but around here we love a good road mm -hmm. trip. And this week we pick up our series Secrets of the Desert. And this time we head up to alien territory just north of Las Vegas on the extraterrestrial highway. News series driver model always in search of the interesting and unusual reports of a section of Nevada that's known for its strange occurrences. Well, there's definitely a mystery about this place, whether it's Area 51, UFOs, aliens, people are definitely drawn here. And if you believe any of the stories along the extraterrestrial highway, sometimes people disappear from here as well. As highways go, Nevada's State Route 375 may be the most curious in the country. Stretching nearly 100 miles from Crystal Springs north of Las Vegas to Warm Springs near the town of Tonopah. Officially renamed the Extraterrestrial Highway back in 1996 by the state, signs posted along the way caution of low flying aircraft. Military aircraft often associated with the adjacent government airbase. But some swear there's a lot more to what's being seen in the sky. 75% of the people on the planet believe that we're not the only species. George Harris has long had an interest in ufology. His place to study the subject? The Alien Research Center, a sheet metal roadside warehouse owned by his brother. Turns out the center is more of a tourist attraction selling all things alien. But George insists it's also a prime location for studying UFOs. Literally right over the hill from us is the world's most top secret air base called Area 51. Like many, we were curious to see just how close we could get to the restricted government facility. A dirt road off the highway leads you to a back entrance. It was clear we were being watched. Cameras positioned all along the perimeter and signs everywhere warning of immediate arrests should we commit any violations. Area 51 is technically part of Edwards Air Force Base within the Nevada Test and Training Range. Recent declassifications point to development of experimental aircraft and weapons by the U.S. Air Force. But George and others believe we're only being told part of the story. It's also where they have two spaceships from Roswell, New Mexico, uh, that, that there's aliens here, there's unexplained, you know, cattle mutilations in the area. I mean, this is serious stuff. To this day, George says people contact him or come into the center with tales of strange encounters. During our visit, we also met a resident by the name of Ken Langley, who claims 10 years ago he may have been the victim of an alien abduction. As far as where the 40 minutes went, that would be absolute speculation because I have no idea what happened. Ken believes his unexplained memory loss was more likely the result of a top secret experiment, some type of advanced technology being tested at Area 51. Locals talk of a number of odd occurrences along the extraterrestrial highway, which is also part of the allure. Even now, there are people who travel here to this part of the desert from all over the world. Alien hunters hoping for some type of paranormal encounter. They even use special equipment, Geiger counters, to aid them in their search. Legend has it some of those people have been abducted, only to return days later through some unexplained phenomenon. For George, UFOs, he says, are part passion, part project. While he enjoys the lore, he hopes someday to also find answers. Do I believe in aliens? Yes. Are there extraterrestrials? Yes. Are they gray? Yes. As for Area 51, it will always remain one of Nevada's top mysteries, and for that matter, one of our secrets of the desert. Not exactly sure what happened back there, but I'm back and in one piece, which means we get to continue our series. Tomorrow, Secrets of the Desert heads up the highway to Rachel, Nevada, where we'll stop at the Little Alien. We'll also visit a place known as the Lunar Crater. I'm Gerard Ramallah reporting. Now back to you. Huh. The aliens had George for about 30 seconds and they were done with him, right? <laughs> Glad that he's not. Well, he had something to do. He had to finish his story. Yep, exactly. I took Riley up there. My son yeah. was about five years old and showed him close encounters of the third kind until we went out looking for aliens at midnight. He was convinced he saw stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, there's some people who really do right. believe. We right. appreciate that report, though. Yeah. I've never been up that way. It's so. fun. Yeah? Go check it out. All yeah, right. in fact, the first time I went up there, I went to the alien and they were saying, hey, Kevin Janison comes up here all the time. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah.